Short sale information. Unsuspecting short sale fraud. Hey, looking for short sale information? You've come to the right place. Mike Wrigley, certified default advocate, distressed property expert, and your short sale specialist here. Thanks for joining us. Hey, today, let's talk about short sale fraud. Now, while I truly believe that America is the greatest place in the world to live and is, is the land of opportunity, it's also the land of the opportunist. Now, what I mean is that dark under, underbelly all too frequently comes out when good people are desperate, such as in selling a short sale uh, property and now with a very tight inventory buying a short sale uh, property. Now, here I had a recent short sale in Sacramento where an uninformed agent actually offered the seller a cash incentive to accept his offer. Now this is wrong on so many levels, it's hard to hold back. First off, except in rare circumstances, agency prohibits the buyer's agent, also known as the selling agent, from discussing the transaction directly with the seller. That's a big no-no. But go ahead, put that aside. Offering the seller a cash incentive could constitute a case of mortgage fraud which is a federal crime, which is investigated by the FBI. Who needs that kind of problem over one commission? I ask you. See, you see, most short sale letters are explicit about the, receive, the seller receiving no proceeds from the sale of the property unless it's approved by the short sale lender and is shown on the HUD, uh, also known as the, the settlement statement. And it also has to be formally approved by the short sale lender. Now, the good news is, is my seller told me about the offer and we made sure that the agent's offer was not considered. Can you imagine what might have happened if the unsuspecting seller had accepted what amounts to a bribe and someone found out? I shudder to think about it. It's crazy. Other forms of well-intentioned but potential fraud include making payments to any party uh, and not disclosing it on the HUD. That is, like a second or third lien holder or another lien holder, or an HOA, or paying off a UCC one lien off HUD, or any other entity that's not disclosed on the settlement, uh, settlement statement or HUD. Uh, if a short sale is canceled, those payments can be made, and it's a whole other subject. But during the short sale, it's a real no-no, no matter how well-intentioned it is. I know it's really easy to get wrapped up in trying to find out workarounds when you can't get the bank to agree to what makes sense. You look for workarounds and figure out how to close that deal and save that house from foreclosure. But you just got to stop and consider all the ramifications before acting. Usually if it feels wrong, it is. So let's really think about things when we're going out there and completing those short sales. So is a short sale right for you? I don't know. Let's call. Let's talk. Give me a call. Let's talk about your particular situation. If you want to know when your home will be worth what you owe, log on to www.shortsellandloanmod.info. The report is free. Give me a call if you have any questions. I look forward to talking to you. Hey, call me today. Sleep better tonight. You'll be glad you did. I'll look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.